Good morning and welcome to the 18th meeting of Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Can I remind members to switch their mobile phones to silent? And uh, we've received apologies from Jeremy Balfour, MSP. And before I do move on, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Craig Hoy, MSP, for his time on the committee. It certainly has been a, a busy first year for the committee and his commitment and enthusiasm were very much welcome. And I wish Craig all the best in his new role. Under the first agenda item, we are considering instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft Plant Health Fees Miscellaneous Amendment Scotland Regulations 2022, the draft Registers of Scotland Information and Access etc. Miscellaneous Amendment Order 2022, and the draft Scottish Tribunals Listed Tribunals Regulations 2022. Is the committee content with these instruments? Under agenda item number two, we are considering seven instruments subject to the negative procedure. An issue has been raised on one of these instruments, which is SSI 2022-173, St Mary's Music School, Aided Places, Scotland, Amendment Regulations 2022. The instrument amends the St Mary's Music School, Aided Places, Scotland Regulations 2015. The amendments make provision to maintain eligibility for aided places for EEA, nationals, and their children who are resident in the British Islands before the end of the EU withdrawal transition period. The regulations also amend the income levels which determine eligibility for financial assistance and extend eligibility to displaced Ukrainian nationals taking part in a UK government relocation scheme. In correspondence with the committee, the Scottish Government confirmed it is the parent and not the grandparent of a child who must be eligible for a remission of fees to meet the criteria for an aided place at the school. Nevertheless, the Government accepted that there may be some ambiguity as a result of the drafting of the instrument. The Scottish Government intends to clarify this ambiguity at the next available opportunity and in any event in time for the following school year. Does the Committee wish to draw Regulation 2.2a of the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the reporting ground H, on the basis that the meaning of the residency criteria applying to children of EEA nationals in a new paragraph 2BA of Schedule 1 of the 2015 regulations could be clearer. And at the same time, does the committee wish to welcome that the Scottish Government intends to clarify the ambiguity at the next available opportunity and in any event in time for the following school year? Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSIs 2022, 167, 168, 169, 170, 172 and 186. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. And the, with that, um, I will uh, indicate that the next meeting of the committee will take place on Tuesday the 14th of June uh, and I will close this meeting. Thank you.